Jacob Rhodes of True Track, and what you've just seen is a glimpse of what the router gantry system can do for you. Now, this is a system that we refer to as a gantry system. More commonly, you've heard them called slab mills, slab flatteners, slab jigs, board mills. Kind of take your pick on what you want to call it. It's just a very effective way to take a handheld router, whether it's a plunge router or a fixed base, two and a half up to three and a quarter horse, and affix it to a gantry system so that you can either do large area planing. Uh, with our system in particular, you can do edge joining, you can do dados, you can do inlays, and we'll get into that kind of later in our video series. But basically what I want to cover here is just an overview of what this system is, what it can do, how it works, give you the information that you need. So the key to this entire system is the gantry rails along with the components for the router plate and that's the best place to start. These rails are 100% American made, they're out of Cincinnati, Ohio, and they are a custom made extrusion. It's not something you can pick up off the shelf, it's not a piece of angle iron, some linear bearings, roller bearings. What this gives you is the ability to have a purpose designed and purpose made product. Okay. The benefit you have with that is that this piece is not going to bend, bow, warp, flex, or do any weird stuff like your homemade wooden jigs will or anything that you get off the shelf unless you overbuild it. What we did here is we've also given you the ability to take the basic system and configure it however you would like. The basic system we have here is a 4 foot by 4 foot working area. It is a 50 inch by 50 inch travel. But we have taken the same dovetail connectors that we have used in our track system for the last 10 years and we have added it to this system here giving you the ability to very easily expand out and do longer cuts or longer material. Bigger slabs, bigger boards, bigger, bigger table glue ups. You simply take the dovetail connectors, you slide them in like so, you tighten them down with your Allen key, and now you have a self-aligning connection. It's very simple, it's very effective, it's repeatable, it's easy. Now the big thing about this is that yes, you can expand this out. You can either expand the bridge or the transverse, depending on how you want to phrase it, or you can also expand the length, so we can go from a 4x4 four four to a 4x8 four to a 4x12. If you want to do a 6 foot cross, you can do that as well. We have both 4 foot and 2 foot extensions, and those extensions are actually a little bit longer. Those are the working area extensions. 2 foot extension gives you a 27 and a half inch piece of extrusion. Now, the key to being able to expand them, you can also take them apart. So if you're in a small shop, you're worried about space constraints, the beautiful thing is this entire system, if you have a 4x8 or a 4x12, can break down and you can take the pieces apart. You can store them individually. Right? Now, that's the gantry extrusions, okay? which is a huge component to this system. The second thing is, is that we all know metal-on-metal metal contact is a horrible idea, right? Well, we have brake pads. All of the sliding components that we have in this system, basically all the black plastic that you see, is a material that is called Delrin. All right? That is an acetal plastic. This is an engineered material specifically designed for sliding friction applications. All right? Linear systems for linear slides, which is basically what this is. They also use it in gearboxes. And if you've ever worked with Delrin or Acetal Plastics, that's pretty much all I've got to say. If you've never used it, this material, as far as strength, rigidity, things of that nature, it's about 80% of a piece of aluminum, the same size and thickness. All right? It is CNC machined, and the beautiful thing is it holds tolerances very, very well. So all of our sliding components slide. And the beautiful thing is, is this is a solid piece of Delrin. It doesn't have UHMW tape, it doesn't have Teflon tape. There's nothing in here that the adhesive is going to wear off on, flake off, peel off, you have to replace it down the road. This is the same concept we use in our saw plates, we just use a different material there. So, that's all your sliding components. All of those are affixed 
with the rails, with end caps. Those end caps fit down into this little machined out portion right here. And if you can see it here, we have little raised pyramids. Those pyramids match the bottom of the extrusion. Now the reason we do that, instead of just having our extrusions with the end caps bolted right down here to the flat part, so we have to have a gusset system, we machined out a little relief area that matches the bottom of the extrusion. So that when this is bolted down, and we use shoulder bolts, everything is captured, so you get a very strong, very rigid connection. On top of that, we've done some other interesting things with our rider plate runners, that's what we refer to these as. They basically run along the extrusions. But we have leveling vials that we have installed on the actual router plate. Now the interesting thing that that gives you, and this comes more from the machining world than the woodworking world, whenever you are trying to get a piece flat, doesn't really matter what the material is, there's a lot of emphasis put on what reference you use. All right. So in a CNC machine, or a machine tool in general, one of the reasons they are so expensive is the tabletop in the machine is flat. All right. They're usually ground. So whenever we take some 2x4s, we knock together a frame, we put it on sawhorses, we use our garage floor, generally those aren't flat. So by having a leveling system on the actual gantry, we can now make sure that when we attach the rails to our table, we can shim up whatever corner we need to, we can ensure that the gantry is level. Now take that a step further. When you put your workpiece onto your table, shim the workpiece such that it is level. You will still have high spots, you will still have low spots. But when your gantry system is on a level plane and your workpiece is on a level plane, you're going to get what you want at the end, which is a piece that's actually flat. So, that's why we did the leveling vials. On top of that, you might notice these two brass thumb screws. And if you watched the very beginning of the video, which I hope you did, you notice that we have a little hand crank here. What we have done that makes this system truly unique is that one of these transverse rails has a threaded rod that runs the entire length. Okay? These two thumb screws here go to nuts that are riding along that threaded rod, and that gives you the ability to pin your router to that threaded rod. So now we can turn the handle here, and it will index the router from one side to the other. Now, I'll be the first one to admit, because I did this, you can take the handle off, you can put a drill on it, and yes, you can use a hand drill to run it back and forth. Now, that wasn't the purpose of it, but it's pretty fun to do. And what it gives you is a much more consistent finish, so a lot less sand, and it is a whole lot easier to use, because if you have used a homemade system, you've had to do the rowboat. And what I mean by that is you go across and you come back. You index over, you go across, you come back, right? Because that's the only axis that you can control your router on. Now, by pinning it to the rod, you can index a specific amount. Talked about dados, talked about inlays. We'll get into those as well. But basically, if you got an inch and a half bit, you can do seven and a half turns. 10 turns is one inch. That way you're using half your bit. Then you can stand here and you can go the entire length of your workpiece with the grain of the wood, right? It's a whole lot easier. And I will tell you that you will do a whole lot less passes, all right? So those are the things that we've added to this system that make it unique, to make it really useful. And to be brutally honest, it's a whole lot easier to use it's a lot more user friendly. All right. So this is our True Track router gantry system. Hope you guys have enjoyed the overview, and look forward to talking to you some more about it. Have a good day.